Hi and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you with the following question which says State whether each of the following set is finite or infinite. First one is the set of lines which are parallel to the x axis. Second is the set of letters in the given English alphabets. Third is the set of numbers which are multiples of 5. Fourth one is the set of elements living on the earth. The last one is the set of circles passing through the orbital 0, 0. So first let us learn what are finite sets. So finite sets are either empty sets or sets consisting of definite number of elements. And infinite sets are those sets which are not finite. So this is the key idea we are going to use in this problem to solve the above given five questions. Let us now start with the first part, which is the set of lines which are parallel to the x-axis. Now since no plane limit or any other condition is given, there can be infinite number of lines which are parallel to the x-axis. Suppose this is the coordinate system. This is x-axis and this is y-axis. So to this axis, we can draw infinite number of lines which are parallel to the x-axis. That is the set contains infinite number of elements. So the given set is infinite set. which completes the first part and now proceeding on to the second part which is the set of letters in the English alphabet. English alphabets are A, B, C, D, up to Z, which are 26 in numbers. This shows that the set contains definite number of elements and hence it is a finite set. And now proceeding on to the third part, which is the set of numbers which are multiple of 5. Now multiples of 5 are all such numbers which are obtained by multiplying any number with 5. So no upper limit or lower limit of numbers is given. So we can have n such numbers both positive and negative. Hence the given set is infinite set. So first let us write down the multiples of 5. which are both positive and negative. So starting with the negative numbers, we have minus infinity and so on to minus 15, which we get on multiplying 5 with minus 3, then minus 10, minus 5, 0, 0 we get on multiplying 5 with 0, then we have 5, 10, 
15 and so on up to plus infinity. Now since there is no lower limit or upper limit, therefore the given number of elements are infinite and hence the set is an infinite set. Which completes the third part. And now proceeding on to the fourth part, which says, the set of animals living on the earth. Now the number of elements living on the earth can be counted. So this set consists of millions of elements, but it is a definite number. Hence, the given set is a finite set. And now proceeding on to the last part, which says, the set of circles passing through the origin 0, 0. So first let us draw a coordinate system this is x-axis and this is y-axis and this point denotes 0, 0. The set of circles passing through the origin are infinite. Let us draw some circles which pass through the origin. These are the circles which pass through the origin and since the limit of the plane, radius of the circle or any other condition is not specified, so we can draw infinite number of circles passing through the origin. Thus, this is an infinite set. Which completes the last part. And in this version, we understood the concept of finite sets and infinite sets and then we identified the given sets for being finite or infinite. So, hope you enjoyed the session. Take care and bye for now.